Alright, Dylan here back for the former function and today we have the throttle body spacer in silver from Torque Solutions and the phenolic spacer or phenolic gasket for the throttle body spacer. Um, this is in the package here and it was about $69 for this. I think this was roughly $20. I can't, don't quote me on that one. I know this is about $69. I got it from uh, BTR. Uh, dot com blood type racing and it looks pretty good um, supposed to, uh, basically what it is for is giving you that extra space for your intake manifold so every time you hit the throttle you actually have that much space of air already there so it's a simulated bitter a better and bigger intake manifold now by itself you're not really going to get any big performance gain from it. Um, this is basically for more air and this is for cooler temperatures. Um, there's also some more stuff, um, different spacers and stuff for the intake manifold. But the biggest value for this is the actual ports in the throttle body spacer. Um, you have two, so if you want to run meth and nitrous or just one, um, my only hang up on this part was I only got one plug. Now, I don't, I'm not running meth or nitrous yet. Um, so I had to actually go out and source a plug, which unfortunately I can only find a steel one, and a steel plug in a aluminum housing can strip everything out, so you just got to be careful. Um, I don't know if it only comes with one plug, or I just got one, and it doesn't really matter, you know, it's a couple cents to get one, but that's my only real hang-up. Um, but it comes with spacer. Got this. Uh, if you're going to do it, just go ahead and bundle everything together since you're going to pay for shipping anyways. And you also come with your longer hardware to put in between the throttle body. Um, so let's just, for all the people with doing weight reduction and stuff and worried about the weight of things, let's go ahead and take this out. Since we're adding these parts, we'll weigh them and see how much they actually weigh. Um, and I'm gonna wait with the two bungs in uh, two plugs actually installed. All right, now I had a little bit of problem with the, the scale actually picking up the weight of it. Um, so we're gonna do like the baby weigh method. We're gonna actually put something that's heavy enough to start the scale. That's at two pounds eight ounces, and then we're gonna put the spacer and the gasket on, and that's at two pounds twelve ounces. So that's four ounces for the spacer and the gasket, which practically weighs nothing um, when you compare it to the car. And then when you check the actual gasket fitment to the spacer, there's no overlay on the inside, which means there's not going to be any type of air disturbance or anything like that. So it's going to fit pretty good. We won't have any problems, so let's put it on. Alright, uh, so we're getting ready to check the temperature for the throttle body install. We just did a hot lap around the neighborhood, got everything up to temperature and everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to check our throttle body and our intake. So we're going to see what the throttle body spacer and the, I don't know how they call it, but the phenolic spacer or the phenolic uh, gasket for that throttle body. So we'll see what our stock temperatures are. Throttle body is about... We'll say 108, and the intake manifold right after is about 90, we'll say 96. So we'll stop with the throttle body, go for another run, and see if we drop any temperatures.
side. got the throttle body back on and we did a test pass unfortunately it is warmer out uh, but and we did drive it a lot harder so what we're gonna compare I guess is the temperature drop um, we only had about a 10 degree we only had about a 10 degree ish drop um, on the old uh, temperature test right now we have Roughly about one one thirty on the throttle body, about one ten on the intake manifold. So we got a ten degree drop. Like I said, it's very hard to get the temperatures the same, uh, especially the springtime weather's changing so quickly. Uh, but seeing that difference is still good to me. Uh, I still think it's a good product. And like I said, the biggest reason for getting it is the meth and nitro bungs but overall with the temperature drop and the added value still a great deal because altogether it's still right up under 100 bucks definitely go to torque solution or blood type racing go check it out pick it up um i think it was worth it in the end